हाई एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू दैनल कोडिंग विद भरत सो इफ यू हैव बीन थ्रू पार्ट वन ऑफ दिस वीडियो देन यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट आई एम ट्राइंग टू डिस्कस द डिफरेंट कोडिंग इंटरव्यू राउंड्स दैट आई फेस ड्यूरिंग द इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस ऑफ अ लॉट ऑफ कंपनीज राइट सो द सेकेंड काइंड ऑफ राउंड वॉज अ प्रैक्टिकल कोडिंग राउंड और अ मशीन कोडिंग राउंड सो इफ आई टॉक मोर अबाउट इट इट वॉज मोस्टली आस्ड इन स्मॉल स्टार्टअप एज वेल एज इन मिड लेवल कंपनीज लाइक रिपलिंग एट फोल्ड आई so the thing with these companies is that they just don't want you to be good at dsa obviously dsa rounds were there but on top of that they want someone who is well prepared to be writing code from day one and that to not just any code production level ready code right so this round actually i would consider as the most difficult round because a it tested on how well you are prepared with a particular tech stack and b it also delved into software techniques like using design patterns using abstractions using security uh, being aware of how things go to deployment how things go into multi threaded environment and things like that so let me talk more about this particular round so essentially there were one of the two ways that this could go if you are aiming for a front end or a full stack role then it is likely that you might be asked to code up a small component in react or angular or vue or whatever of your choice whatever framework of your choice or you might be given a code which is already written in react and asked to debug it this actually happened in one of my interviews that i was given a react code and was asked to find issues with it that why it is not working and fix them so that is for a front end or a full stack role similarly for a back end or a full stack role the same could be done with an api so in one of the interviews i was asked to create simple apis that could work like upvoting and downvoting a particular post so we had a post id and we had to make sure that we are able to upvote and downvote so although it seems like a very simple task but actually you had to ensure idempotency that okay if that same api is hit multiple times it should not happen that the vote is counted twice so you had to store the user information that which user is upvoting similarly you had to be clear about authentication authorization and security clear about how this will work in concurrent environment like if multiple threads are trying to upvote the same resource how do you go about controlling it so either db level locks or application level locks right so this was a more complex round the coding part was still i would say simple if you know some tech stack well you will be able to code it out but the further discussions around these extra things were super important like you have to be truly familiar with a lot of uh, software development techniques in totality right so yeah that was about this round let me just also go ahead and say how to prepare in this right so first of all if you are targeting full stack kind of roles also and front end kind of roles also the best language that i would say here is to go for javascript so learn javascript in complete depth because that is one language that can be used both in front end as well as back end like any other language cannot be used for front end essentially right so you have to you will have to learn two languages if you want to go down some other route other route so yeah learn javascript in depth once you have javascript in place learn fun back end framework and a front end framework well so for front end i would say just go for react don't think about anything else react is going to be the best one like that is what is in trend for back end either you can go for node js if you want to stick to javascript or if your language for dsa round is probably java or python you can also go for something like django or spring spring boot right so that is up to you right so basically one good front end framework which is react and one good back end framework which could be either node or if if you are doing in golang then golang or if you are doing in uh, python then django or if you are doing in java then java spring and spring boot so one of these four i think should be good other things like ruby and php are no longer very common these days so yeah these four should be good enough one more thing that i have written here that if you are focusing more on front end 
then make sure that you are good with new in-trend things also like hooks hooks is a more recent concept with functional components right so you should be very clear with that what context api does then similarly you should be very clear with how virtual dom works you also need to be familiar with redux and how it works similarly for backend it's not just about creating apis but also about understanding how it manages multiple threads for example async processing in javascript is very different from async processing in java so if whichever language you are choosing you should be very clear with how that handles async processing similarly how it scales how it ensures security your backend framework what are middlewares so all of these concepts needs to be very clear not just surface level knowledge of these things third i would say to be somewhat familiar with how deployment works what is cloud how do we go about deploying our things on something like aws or gcp right and what are the other components that come together to actually make an application what does elastic search does what does a database do what are the different kinds of databases right so a little bit more on practical knowledge what is logging what is monitoring what is observability so some more knowledge around the practicality of things like how actually things work in the production kind of environment that would be good to have apart from that fourth and very important do learn git github well do learn bash commands do learn some sql queries these three are even asked outside uh, this kind of around right the best way to go about doing this particular round is either to go for something like gsoc or an open source contribution like uh, it has like many more benefits even apart from just the interview preparation right so doing open source contribution in itself is a big thing or second would be to actually at least build either a group or a individual project which actually encapsulates both front front end and back end right not just some code that you copied from internet and just pasted it right but actual in depth knowledge actually you face certain certain issues while developing that code and fixed it either by going via chat gpt or via stack overflow right but understanding the depth on how things worked cool so that was the important second round so let's meet you in the next video where i'll discuss the third kind of round that i faced in these interviews